I feel like with how the coronavirus is spreading right now, if you are one of those people who are supposed to be staying home, but you are not, then you are a huge part of the problem as to why this thing keeps spreading like this. I feel like while people have been trying to stay away from like social media and like the news outlets and stuff like that during this time, I've been doing the opposite. I've been, you know, watching updates on social media and like watching the news and stuff like that because I do want to see what is going on. And normally, like prior to all this, I'm not one who would just sit there and just watch the news because I feel like, you know, sometimes the news is a little a little bit depressing and in a time like this, you can definitely say it does fall in the depressing category right now, but I feel like we need to stay abreast with what is going on. And I was really so upset because it's a lot of jobs that are not essential, that are trying to make it seem like they are essential so that they can stay open and then you are calling out the employees to come in this environment and you're telling them some shit like, oh, it is your choice as to if you want to come. Why call them then? I just feel like it's a tough time and everybody needs the money and that's very understanding. But I also feel like when you give them the option to come out in a state like this, they are coming out and potentially exposing themselves and the people who they have to go back home to and also the people who they have to come in contact with daily i feel like a lot of these jobs even though they tell you that oh we're doing our best to try and make sure that the place is sanitary and this and that it's a whole ass lie and when you are in one of those jobs you realize that they're lying because you're there and you see that they're not really going the extra mile or doing anything extra to make sure that um it's sanitary and it's safe for you to come to work and it's safe for other people to come in there and i feel like it's just absolutely so sad and like I said, I get it that a lot of people need the money. I need the money too. And a lot of people, you know, don't have a huge savings account just sitting down waiting for something like this to happen so they can run through it. So when the opportunity comes up um, for them to come to work, then they're going to want to take it. But I feel like too, you also have to realize that health is wealth, okay? And the way how this thing is literally killing people you can't be playing around going out going out there thinking you're gonna be the lucky person who goes and comes every day for the next what two weeks or so and not get it today is march 26th okay so it's not even new york has just been um shut down sunday for like non-essential businesses and it's no way i'm gonna let a job call me out today sunday was the 21st it's no way i'm gonna let a job call me out today and tell me oh you know, it's your option if you want to come or not, but we're open and we're opening a little bit later and we're closing a little bit earlier. What happens to how I'm getting there? I have to leave my home to go on a bus to get there. Me leaving my home is me exposing myself. Me going on the bus is me exposing myself and everybody else on the bus. Because mind you, it's a lot of people who could have the coronavirus and they're not showing any symptoms, but you know, it's not really affecting you as bad as it does affect other people. So you're still kind of okay. But what about somebody else who their immune system isn't strong or, you know, they have underlying health issues who you might pass um, the virus along to and they might not be as lucky as you are and they might not survive from it. I just feel like these are things that upsets me so much with just people in the world in general. It's so ridiculous that you don't see how... You're putting yourself at risk, the people you love at risk, and the people you're going to come in contact with at risk of getting this thing. But, oh, can you tell I'm literally just so annoyed. Literally so annoyed. If you have the option to stay home, stay the fuck home, okay? Because the more you go out there, the more you expose yourselves. Just stay home. You're a part of the problem if you have the option to stay home but refuse to stay home. That's it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Jadine and I hope you guys consider subscribing. And if you guys are not new, then of course, welcome back. I don't really have a structure or like great plans for today. Right now, I know that this trash can behind me needs a bag in there and I probably want to make some breakfast. It's 1041 and I set my alarm to go off at 10 o'clock because um, last night... One of my friends came over for me to um, cut out some tracks for her. 
and I did cut out the checks for her, but we were just sitting down and drinking some wine and she had brought some hair and she was just like, can you sew on this closure for me? This is the news me. I'm going to tell you how. So she said to sew on the closure for her and I sew it on and she's just like, she started handing me the bundles, but I didn't mind because I wasn't doing anything else. So I ended up making a wig for her. I'm going to insert a clip of the wig right here because I had recorded it when I was done. So yeah, that's essentially how I spent my night last night. Making a wig, drinking wine, and chilling, I guess cooked yesterday not gonna cook today so um yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna go in the kitchen and see what I can find oh I don't feel like I'm starving but I think I could indeed eat something so maybe some cereal or something just something a little bit quickish but um yeah I'm going to sit here and watch some YouTube videos because I guess I don't think I'm going to be cooking today. You know. So I'm going to kind of try to enjoy my day. What is that on the ceiling? That is so weird. Anyways, whatever. I'll come back later on. Hi guys, it's later in the day and I feel like this vlog has taken place at so many different parts in set of my apartment. However, um, it's 4.06 4 and I feel like my hair just keeps getting progressively worse in all the clips that I'm in. But um, I haven't really done anything. I've really just been chilling. I'm about to go shower pour myself a glass of wine I did not cook I just I feel like I was not necessarily in the mood to cook and I'm that person who I will not stress the issue you know if I'm not in the mood then I'm just not and that is what it is and we'll just make it work so that's the type of day I'm having today I had said that I wanted to go on like a little walk but I don't know how that's going because to be honest I'm really afraid to be outside wow look crazy yeah so i'm really afraid to be outside so even though i had a planned out that i was gonna go on a walk i don't know if that's gonna actually happen i wanted to walk to like the little coffee shop out the block and buy like a coffee and a donut and stuff but i'm so paranoid and i just feel like damn what if somebody inside there is sick the person who's making the donuts or the person who's making the coffee and they don't know and i don't know and then so when I saw where that was going instead of my head, I'm just like, um, no, let's, let's not do that. So even if I do go on a walk, I'm really going to just walk around just to get some fresh air, fresh air because I've been stuck in here since Monday. Today's Thursday. The last time I was outside was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I've been in here since four, for four days and that for me is new, brand new. Three days are normally fine but four days is a lot of new you know and last night when I went downstairs to meet my friend I realized that the weather was really really nice outside so you know that's where I came up with the bright idea to go on a walk but like I said obviously that's not gonna happen so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing I don't know I feel like around here is really nice to like just walk just to get some fresh air but in getting some fresh air you also have to make sure that you're distancing yourself from people just to slow the spread of this whole thing that we have going on so i don't know maybe i'll just stay inside i mean i'm not gonna die if i had to stay inside for the rest of my life i'd be fine like i'm literally that person who would be okay being inside so um i might just stay inside today did not cook i don't know what i'm gonna eat i ate something a little bit earlier but i feel like i'm gonna get a little more hungry the one thing that i find that is happening more than ever during this whole quarantine is that I'm snacking OD like I opened a thing of Oreo last night while my friend was here and it's almost done she ate a few out of it and I've just been going through that thing because I have it on the side of like the couch and because that has been my favorite spot for these past couple of days 
it's just right on there and I'm going through it and I'm going through it and probably not even realize how much of it I'm actually eating. Jesus. I need to, um, I need to text this young man to find out what's up with the laundry or to at least drop it off because my pajamas, I'm really going through them and that's not okay. That's not healthy. See, I'm, I'm today I'm wearing an actual top. That's not okay. This never happens. I like these little tank tops too. But yeah, I'm going to go shower and pretty much chill for the rest of the evening. It's 4.10 like I said. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And you know, comment down below and let me know what are some of the things that you guys are doing in the state that we're currently in where you can't really go anywhere if you can't be at work. Have you guys started losing your minds yet? <laughs> Yeah, so let me know what you guys have been up to. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Open up. You open up. Bitch, you won't be We should be close and friends.